have to word this video in such a way that the AI algorithms of YouTube don't shut it down. So I'll be a little nondescript, but I hope that you can get what type of ballpark I'm, I'm gunning for, so to speak. But have you been like in a brain fog, fatigued, tired all of a sudden? You know, you're just depleted of energy, it just emptied, exhausted. You feel like you just don't want to do anything. You just want to lie down. You know, you feel like you just emptied out and drained and always tired, always just, it feels like you're just physical exertion has just taken over you. You can't breathe. You Sometimes you have a problem sleeping. You're filled with doubt and uncertainty, uh, trepidation, fear, all of a sudden over the last few years. Well, the reason is simple, and I'm going to put it to you this way, and this is the truth. It doesn't have anything to do with spiritual warfare or anything like that. It's nothing to do with that. This doesn't have any religious connotations to it. Okay, this is both metaphysical and a physical attack on you. And I'm going to tell you exactly what's going on. First off, the physical aspect. Everything that they've been putting in your food for the last, I don't know how many years, is working in tandem with microwave radiation towers and satellites. Now, this is where you get your internet connectivity from. It has a letter. Excuse me, it has a number first and then a letter. The number is the number after four, and the letter is the letter after G. And then there's another one that goes higher. There's a number that's after five, and the, 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 the excuse me, there's a number uh, that's after five, and then there's a letter after G. So there's actually two of them they've had. Now, they're working in tandem with the elements that are in the food that you're eating, because in 1971, the United States Naval Research Institute did uh, studies, extensive studies, on microwave radiation and the effects on the human condition. And it was conclusive that microwaves affect people detrimentally. So that's what's going on. Sometimes you hear high pitch ringing, whatever it is. It all is attributed to the towers that they're building. Okay, I'm not going to mention specific names because they will shut the video down. But in your food, you have bioengineered food ingredients. You have titanium dioxide, which is E171. These are nanoparticles that work in tandem with these things. So this is the reason why people are very irritable, very grouchy, upset, impatient, aggravated, volatile, violent, angry, short-tempered. They could snap on a drop of a dime. I've never seen it like this in my life. This is happening globally. And that's the physical aspect of it. The metaphysical is the demonic hexes and curses that are attached to the energies of the things that you watch on YouTube, Netflix, I mean, you know, all over the place, because this cult, they, they, they own all of it. They operate and own all of it. Six men, six men own all of the world's media. I mean, all of it, all around the world, all the news broke, everything, they own all of it. Every news channel, every news outlet, they own all of it. And they're all a part of this. So what you watch, what you think that's intangible is actually pulverizing your mind and saturating you with these, these demonic subconscious parasites. I've already said this before. So just so you know, it isn't spiritual warfare going on. It has nothing to do with the Bible or religion. They, 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 that's all propaganda. That's, whether you want to realize this or not, that cult is the very source that wrote your Bible and your Torah and your Quran and all of the Chinese proverbs and everything, that's where all of it comes from. Because if you don't believe me, look at how old these things are. There's a ceiling here, folks, usually roughly around 5,500 years or so. It, it all is just introduced. It just comes in in human history around 6,000 years. It's, it's what I refer to as the event. Now, science and politics and all this didn't exist before this. But it's only roughly around that 5,500 5, to 6,000 year ceiling that all of a sudden we get, we got religion, and then you got politics, psychiatry, psychology, astronomy, astrology, all of it, mathematics, you know, it all just came in all of a sudden. If you don't believe me, do your research. But I'm telling you, the reason why you're being fatigued, physically fatigued, is because the food that you're eating contains elements in it are working in tandem with these microwave towers. It's just common sense and other things that we'll never know about. Now, you can get into the, the exact ingredients of those, some of them that they're listed, but like I said before in a previous video, these companies are not at liberty to disclose 100% of the active ingredients in all their products. Only I think it's about 60%, which means that more than 40%, they're not going to tell you. So you don't even know what's in it. You know, when you have stuff like titanium dioxide, which is nanoparticles, they're working in tandem with these microwave radiation towers. You know something's going on. Plant-based foods, they don't come from a plant that you grow in the ground. These things are manufactured in a laboratory. That's why you should stay away from all plant-based products. It's not like you think.
That's why they're putting it in toiletries. They're putting graphene oxide in clothing. Uh, I mean, I can go on for hours with this stuff, but this is why you have what they call brain fog. This is why you can't think straight. This is why you might have problems with your memory all of a sudden. You're fatigued, you're tired, you're afraid constantly. Constant state of panic and fear, paranoia, trepidation, doubt, uncertainty. All of this is just seems to be just compounding down around you, like choking you, like a like a like a like a like a veil of darkness, just just putting it over putting the darkness is covering your mouth and just choking you to death. That's exactly what's going on. I feel it. I'm an empath. I'm a light worker. I'm a star seed. I'm a divine conduit, psychic medium. I'm a spiritual healer. And I can tell you right now, I assess people's energies. And what I'm assessing nowadays is mechanical. I don't really assess um, a human energy anymore. It's not biological. It's not natural. And it's not organic. It's synthetic. It's artificial. And it's inorganic. It's unnatural. That's what I'm assessing when I, when I assess beings that look human, but they're not. It's also because of that, too. The stuff that's in that, I can't even get into because they will shut my channel down. Okay, but you notice that they never told you what was in it, and they never will. Trust me, that has a big, big portion to do with what's going on in this world, big time. The people that survived this, that weren't killed by that, those are the ones carrying these things and other things. So, you know, just to let you know, um, it's in the water, in the air, in the food, in the soil, the, everywhere. They've put it everywhere for a reason, because they want to happen what's exactly happening now. But that's not to say that they're going to be victorious in their attempts, because they won't. You know, these these are, you know, megalomaniacal, egotistical, malignant, narcissistic maniacs is what you're dealing with here, with, delus with delusions of grandeur and total global domination, as if God hasn't seen this before. You know, the universe ain't sweating human beings, folks. God ain't sweating man. There's an old Yiddish proverb, man plans, God laughs. Keep that in mind. But that's what this video is about, to make you aware of why you're tired and fatigued. You could be eating right, exercising, do everything you can. You don't drink, smoke, and do drugs, and you still feel depleted. And like, like your everything has been gone. Like you get up and go, got up and went. You know, you just feel like exhausted and like, oh, I don't know what's going on. It's because the food you're eating, it's not food, it's processed products. It's not natural and organic. It's not like you're going to grow your own fruits and vegetables. That's food. What you buy in the grocery store is a product, like a car or a cell phone is a product. You're, you're eating plastics and materials. You're eating, like to give you an example, cellulose gum that's pulverized wood chips that's been treated with chemicals. That's what's in um, uh, Parmesan cheese. They put, they put uh, prescription eye medications in your shredded cheese. You know, you have no clue what they're putting in your food. And this is the reason why you're feeling depleted and empty. That's why I say stay away from emulsifiers. And natural flavors, they're not natural. They're poison. So this is the reason why you are experiencing this brain fog and fatigue and uncertainty. Because they're preparing for something. You know, they're preparing for something. But you prepare. You know, like they say, luck favors the prepared. And you, you'll be more than lucky because you will be victorious in this. Because they know that there's more of you than there are of them. And that's what they're afraid of. So in parting, I just want to say, try to eat right and exercise, but read your labels. Read your nutrition labels. Why do you think they're making you so impatient with these video shorts? Video shorts used to be three minutes and then two minutes and then a minute. Now it's down below that. Why do you think they're doing this? You don't have any concentration, focus, attention, span, or patience for anything anymore. Because everything's like, I got to do it now. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. I got to get it done. Come on. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. You don't have time to read a label of something you're going to put in your body that could possibly kill you? I mean, come on, folks. Is TikTok that important to die over? Seriously. You know, you, you folks got to check yourself, man. Seriously. I've never seen people like this in my life. When I was a kid growing up in the 70s, it was very laid back and calm. It was, it was a completely different world, different environment, different atmosphere, different energy, different everything. Was it utopia? No. But was it this? Absolutely not. So listen, I just wanted to make this video to make you aware. It's not spiritual warfare. It's not anything like that because everything is source. Religious ideologies want you to believe that it's spiritual warfare. The enemy's attacking. No. God is not battling anything. It's God is a source is the source of all creation. Religion wants you to believe that there's enemies and opponents and, and there's spiritual warfare because then they want you to take sides. And that's how they divide you. All religion is this cult. Okay? It's just that simple. I'm not going to use the names, but I'm quite sure you know what I'm referring to. Everything stems from them. Don't believe that it doesn't. 
politics, religion, science, math, all of it, that's them. The infrastructure of, the, of every country, the telecommunications industry, the pharmaceutical industry, the military industrial complex, the educational infrastructure, religion, all of it, it's all them. Everything, the automotive industry, everything, the manufacturing industry, all of it is them. It's all them. They control the entire infrastructure of the physical system. They always have. And they're very good at what they do. Now, they package things in a way to make you think, oh, this is going to make your internet much faster. No, it isn't that at all. Absolutely not. But anyway, I wish you all Godspeed. God bless you all. And everything's going to be all right because God has got this. God will not let them take over this world because if they do, you're looking at tens or hundreds of thousands of years of perpetual darkness. You can forget about any type of rights or freedoms or civil liberties or anything that will be wiped clean. Look what's going on in China. And China is the paradigm. That's exactly where they're trying to head this place. If America falls, this world is going to collapse. That's the bottom line.